Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to display an image on your web page. So I do have a web page set up, and there is nothing terribly exciting inside of it, just plain old uh, HTML, just a heading one. And just so you can see my folder structure here, I'm working in this demos folder, and I've got a few web pages. There's the images one page that I'm working on today, but I don't have any images in this folder, and I don't have any images subfolders that could potentially contain images. So first order of business is to jump out to the web. I'm going to go to Unsplash, which is a place for free reusable images, uh, royalty free. And I'm going to go through here real quick and I'm going to grab, let's see, what do we got? Oh, that's kind of neat. I'll go for this picture of the cyclist. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this photo and I want to download it into a place where I can easily access it and work with it with my web page which means where my web page is stored. I think I'm going to download the medium. The medium version is pretty large though. Maybe I'll download that small version. No need to get an image that's bigger than what your purposes indicate. And I'm going to do a save as. And yep, this is going to go into my demos folder here. It's got this really long file name. And I'm going to go ahead and change that out to, uh, I'll just call it commuter, assuming this is a bike commuter here. Notice I'm using all lowercase and no spaces. I like to use all lowercase and no spaces for any files and folders on my website because generally your web server operating system is going to be case sensitive and mixing in uppercase letters can throw things off. So all lowercase, no spaces. I'm going to save that. Now that that image is saved, right there with my web page files, I should be able to use it quite easily. I can close that, head back over to my page. Now to display this image, I'm just going to use an image tag and then I'll do source equals SRC equals. Of course, VS Code is nice. It's helping me out, letting me know what files are available to me in that folder. There's my commuter.jpg picture. And because it's good form, alt equals byte commuter. That's all it's going to take to display that image on the web page. You think, okay, well, that worked out pretty well. Now, that image is pretty big, and it can be nice to resize that image, but if I really wanted to resize it, I should use an image editor and literally change the image dimensions. However, I can pretty easily just throw in a width equals, I'll just do something like 400 here. Now that 400 represents 400 pixels, but notice I'm not putting the PX on there, or that's a, using PX for pixels is a CSS syntax. This time I'm just using width equals 400. That's going to change the width of that image, but it's also going to change the height proportionally. By the way, there's also a height attribute. So now that image is easily resized and it's displaying just as I want. However, what if this image was not in the same folder as my web page files. What if I had a new folder called images and this image was saved in that folder? As soon as I move that image, notice my image breaks on the web page. Well, that's no big deal. I just need to make sure that I tell the browser that I have an images folder slash and then there's the picture in question, my commuter.jpg. So you can definitely use subfolders to store your images. And it's actually kind of a smart way to go. You just have to make sure that all of your image sources, your image paths, reference that appropriate folder path and lead to the right image. So once I correct that HTML to include my images folder, that image is going to be displayed again where I need it to be. Cool. Now there's a couple of other videos you can watch related to using images, particularly using images as backgrounds. But um, I think in my next video, I'd like to do a couple more things with this. I'd like to crop it, display it, and I'd like to rig it so that it displays in black and white, but when I hover over, it changes into color. Thanks for hanging out with me.